Hi, this is Thomas from Geekseller. If you sell on Walmart for some time, you probably know that you cannot completely delete Walmart listing from their database. You can only retire your listings, which will remove them from the marketplace, but they will still be available on your Walmart seller center in case you want to sell them again. In this video, I will cover two ways of removing and bringing back listings on Walmart. I will also show how you can quickly do the same through the GeekSeller platform. First option is the easiest and the most safe method to put down an item on Walmart. It is basically an update of quantity to zero. This option is recommended when you need to remove your item for a short period of time. It is a great alternative for complete removal of item as you can easily and instantly reactivate it by simply updating your quantity back. The second option is a product retirement and it is more of a long-term solution. You can retire any product on your Walmart seller center and it is a very simple process if you want to remove only a few SKUs. You just need to search for the SKU, check the box next to it and select Retire Items button on the Action drop-down menu. Before you do that, we also advise you to zero out the quantity of selected SKUs to make sure it will be archived correctly. After retirement, your products should be removed from the marketplace and your active listings catalog within about 24 hours. If you would like to do the same with multiple products in bulk, the process is a bit more complicated as you need to use a Walmart spec sheet and update the site end date field to pass the date. Then you need to re-upload the file and ideally check the activity field section to make sure it was successful. If you would like to offer an item that you retired again, you can do that. Please do not create the duplicates of such product because Walmart will not allow you to use the same UPC or EAN code on new listing. To find items that you want to reactivate, click on the switch available on the items page called Include Retired Items. This will, this will include the retired items in searches so you will be able to find deactivated SKUs. Once you get the SKUs, you need to upload a spec sheet with site end date set to future date. After the upload of the file, it may also take about 24 hours to reflect the changes on Walmart and make these items active again. On GeekSeller, you can also retire your products the same way you can do it on Walmart. Just select the SKUs chosen for retirement and select Archive on Walmart button. You can also easily retire larger amounts of products by using an advanced search for multiple SKUs. If you have a couple of hundreds or, or even thousands of products to retire, you can ask our support for assistance and we will be happy to help you with that. Additionally, Geekseller makes it easier to find the retired products as they are accessible on the archive tab of your Walmart panel all the time. From here you can quickly undelete them without the time-consuming walk on Walmart spec sheet. If you need any help with Walmart product retirement or you are interested in GeekSeller services, please contact us through our website or the link in the description.